for themselves. All these lies that these people are telling. And let me tell you something about this horrid promotion list on the 2nd of June. Now, you know, this same matter that we have here with the suspension of the police service commission was dragging through the courts. And on the 28th of June last year, we decided to the same Mr. Peters and Mr. Todd, Dexter Todd and uh, Dexter Smart, that we were gonna go to court to get an injunction to prevent any promotions from being made until this matter that was determined today was finished, right? Yeah. Now, when we went to court, there were some delays. And you went to court, I think the, the matter was filed a Friday. The Monday was CARICOM Day, a public holiday in Guyana. And it, it is clear, the evidence suggests, that what happens when they order about the filing, because remember you file these things, you have to solve it on them, on the yeah. attorney general. When it was solved on the attorney general, they then decided to hustle and put together this list before the court could convene on the first working day, which, have, which would have been, I think, the 2nd of um, mm. July, um, 2022. That is how you get this list um, come to. So we talk about deliberations. They deliberate and put people who are out of the job on yes. the list. That is the deliberation. They deliberated and put a man who at the time was into, uh, was charged and before the court. That is the type of deliberation they had. As you said, they must have deliberated during the course of the night. Yeah, um, um, Paul, they, they, they promoted one woman twice. Yeah, and, and, apart, and, and apart from that, Brutus, Karen Bass, Stanley, Schiff, Purcell, Bacchus, Chevron Jupiter, Prem Narain, all of them had this pain matter spending and they were promoted. Every one, and those matters were incomplete. Every one of them had this pain matter spending. And as I indicated to our viewers earlier, in the promotion return of 2020, the same Brutus signed a document to say that there were 13 members of the force. I have the names of those 13 members who should not be promoted because they had pending disciplinary matters. That is what um, transpired. And as I've said, you know, they're suing, they're suing me twice. One matter get dismissed, one still pending. I know the one coming. The one is over here now. I wait in because, as I said, I get the facts. I get the facts to present. So if they want to come and to say that they are being defamed, if you're defamed by the truth, that is your business. Then they're going to come to say that they're emotionally disturbed. They're going to want to invoke the Cybercrime Act. Already and awaiting. I already and awaiting. Yeah, Mr. Conway, go ahead. Go on, please. Yeah, and um, let me just backtrack a bit in terms of oh, in terms of the bogus charge that we got. It, um, you may recall Brutus and others filed the action, and they they they, they didn't do it of their own volition. They had intellectual authors because words sipped out that the police association that makes nomination to the to the parliament for persons to be appointed as members of the police service commission. The one that was operating then, um, because of the excellent work we, do, we were doing, the fairness that we were doing, they decided that they're gonna give us a second term. They're gonna appoint, they're gonna recommend us for a second term. And word spill out. And there are some intellectual authors who are attorneys at law and members of the PPP. And, and they decided, hey, find a bogus charge on Guy Paul and Guy Conway and then move for them to be, to, to be removed. Remember what they did? They got the admin man to hold an election for the police association, hold an e election and appointed Prem Narayan and as chairman and others. And the election, thousands of police ranks were disenfranchised. They didn't have the opportunity to select persons to represent them on the police, the executive body of the police association. So they select their own people. Brutus whole election and said Prem, 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 Prem Narayan was elected as chairman. Happy got to hear about it. And Happy decided to hold, to get um, MTH to hold another election on the same day. And that election um, 
see, certain persons, the same persons who were the chairman, Ford and others, were elected. Subsequently, Happy vitiated both elections. And he was called before certain people, politicians, and put over the fire. And he, he vitiated both, both elections again. And he said because of, of, of mature thinking and, and, and advice. And he said the one that elected Prem Narine would be was a legal one. Now, going further, they got Prem Narine. And the, the reports we got, the allegations we got, is that he was given certain names of persons, certain who the politician wanted to be members of the Police Service Commission. And they send those names to members of the, to, 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 to the parliament, which subsequently sent them to the president. And so we have the, those persons who were installed as mem illegally as members of the police service uh, service commission led by a bishop so they, they, they the whole thing they had intellectual authors was to get rid of past two and Conway, give them bogus charge and at the same time install their own members of the police service commission who would make nominations who were given names names to put up to go to the parliament for them to become members of the service commission that well, part a lot of people don't know about well, let me tell them, let me tell them for now. Let me tell them for, you know, when you're playing cards, you're playing troop trial, you just got to get some ace up your sleeve. I get ace up my sleeve in respect to that. So let her come and dispute what you have just said. I get um, the ace up my sleeve in respect to that um, statement that you made about the appointment and so on. And, and let me, let me, let, let me add to, and apart from that, all the members of the executive were promoted. They were rewarded with promotion. One man, one, one man moved from inspector to superintendent. He, he, he superseded 280 something persons. Perhaps we should send him to the Olympics because he could bra jump, he could high jump, <laughs> and he could do triple jump. He should go to the Olympics. We're going to win a gold medal there. But where what? is he now? He, where is he now in the division? Running, running crime, which is which was normally be done by a sergeant, and he's a superintendent. Well, let's see level, you know. And the same man, the same man, the man joined the force. I think he get. I, I was to check to see how much service he has, but the man got three promotions. He get promoted to corporal, yeah. from corporal to inspector, from inspector yeah. to superintendent. Unprecedented in the history of the Guyana Police Force. Three promotions, yeah. and he is a superintendent of police. And I'm gonna talk about that. Um, perhaps Wednesday, when we do our next program, Carl, I got something to talk about that same yeah. issue and the issue in relation to the release by the U.S. State Department. But CCB okay. running, you know, we are normally got about two hours. I drag on, so yeah. I'm glad you finally get over the gremlins. And as I've said before, we have Wednesday, and if needs be, maybe we'll do even another um, special to address this issue. So I am glad yeah. that you finally made it. And again, congratulations to all of us on the ruling in the court today. I know it's going to hit social media. I know tomorrow is going to be a fact. I saw an article already from Starbrook News uh, about this matter. This is a significant um, ruling. This is a ruling which shows that we still have people in the judiciary who are willing to follow the law. You know, many times, and let me say this, let me say this. I had said I had scheduled this live even before the decision was handed down. Not only because I was confident that the decision will go in our favor, but regardless of what it um, was, I wanted to come and to tell people what I have told them this afternoon to bring this thing out. And as people are asking, hey, what to all the trenches that has normally come out? They, they can't think. The idea, the idea, as I told you, all how to deal with cockroaches. They come out, cockroaches are nocturnal. Once you turn on the light, they can scamper. So you got to mash some, you got to spray some, and, and, and get rid of them. And that is what's happening. What are they going to come to say? They're going to attack the judge? The judge laid out his ruling in a very clear manner. Clear, the Constitution. We have always said, CC, that the Constitution, Article 225 in particular, sets out the process for suspension or removal. And we had always said, we always knew that it wasn't followed. And we were always confident that if the judge followed the constitution, there was only one decision that could have been handed down. 
And if they decide to go to the appeal court, they try to go to the CCJ, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. The constitution and change, the action of the president was done on the 16th, and it is unlawful, unconstitutional, non void. As Selwyn said earlier, uh, we'll have to discuss um, the consequential actions because I know we have a lot of anxious uh, police ranks, 42 of them, I checked the record, who were promoted in 2020, in 2021 rather, on the 28th of June 2021. They have not been promoted in the last um, promotion, this, this rush promotion on the 2nd of July. In some cases, let me add, some cases, some were in fact promoted, but they were yeah. promoted to ranks other than that, what they were promoted to um, in our case. In other words, some people were promoted by us to superintendent, and in the last promotion, they promote them to deputy superintendent. So we will have to discuss with the lawyer once we get the ruling, the written ruling from the judge. He says the long, a lot of writing, 50-something pages. He promised it. Once we get it, we go through it. We will decide on the way forward. This affidavit that Jai Singh swore to and um, Mark Phillips, the prime minister, swore to with all the lies, we have to decide because it's forgery. It's forgery. I look at the definition and that is forgery. Uh, and therefore, we have got to decide how we're going to go forward. We know that when you bring private criminal charges against people, so other people, the DPP intervenes and the DPP discontinues this matter. But let's say, but if we decide to go that route, we aren't saying that we go that route, but if we decide to go that route, let them intervene and discontinue. Because remember, they can do that, but the international community is watching, as we have seen with the recent report. They can decide not to investigate. They can decide to sweep things under the carpet. The international community is watching and they will come in at the appropriate time. CC, your final thoughts. Yeah, um, and let me take the opportunity to congratulate you and the other members also. Um, and also Selwyn and his team, the two Dexters. Excellent work, excellent work. You, I think you made a major decision when you engage Selwyn. And I'm I'm proud of him. And also you too. You you were steadfast. You 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 weren't letting up in, in anything. You you were there in the forefront. Although we were in the background, you 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 were there. And I'm happy that at least we found a judge with balls who could have stand up to 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 the politician. A man, a, a honorable man who could, you know, go according to the constitution. And I must make the point that the constitution is the supreme law. The president is a creature of the constitution. He has to bow down the, the constitution. And as Commissioner Larry says, he has a mere culpo, mere culpo, mere culpo. He can't breach the constitution. He has to be. I remember with Desmond Height and Abby Norton. When, when Desmond Height relieved Abby Norton of, of, of his position as general secretary, and Height said Norton wasn't putting the shot in his pants. And the general secretary is a creature of the leader. The president is a creature of the constitution of Guyana, and we can't allow him to flagrantly violate the constitution. And if it goes to the apex court, we'll have the same decision. I'm confident about, about that. And we have been vindicated at, at this stage, even our, our, our friends and our relatives and our, our families, they know that we were unconstitutionally illegally suspended. And, and as you mentioned, they couldn't wait another two months. They couldn't wait. They were in a hurry. And when you're in a hurry, you say, well, look, a whole set of things there. So congratulations to all of us. Special thanks to our Tonys, Selwyn and the two Dexters and um, the, the, the other guy that doing the research Toby, and others. Toby, 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 Toby yeah, Toby, Toby, I think yeah. that we. And we will not let up. They, 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 they're trying with me. I think they're using Pegasus and trying with me, but there's always a will. They, they, they can't, they might only delay me. I will be on. I will find a way, I mean, to be on, Paul. Thank you, CC. Thank you. If, you, if, you um, if, at, if at any stage before we end here now, you, you praise me again. I will believe you. You angling to, for me to buy a drink, so uh, don't. don't well, well, don't. I, I, I wouldn't drink because it's Lent, it's, Lent. it's Ramadan, and um, they, they, there's a Hindu one. I can't remember it all at the same time. Yeah. All right, no, so right, no, right. Yeah, we gonna be in touch. We gonna be in touch, folks. 
Um, there you have this live, the longest we have been, two hours and what, 11 minutes or thereabout. But I know it was worth it. And I um, thank you. We had full house, man, full house overflowing. People are in the ceiling. People are over watching. And I hope that you have gotten an understanding as to what transpired today and the whole lead up to this, um, what I call this vindictive um, intervention by um, these people. And as I said to the lawyer, no done as you like. So we will have to discuss um, the way forward. You can't sit back and allow people to swear to affidavits and tell lies which are easily proven to be lies. So we can decide where we're going with that. So folks, until Wednesday, when we back to our regular program at 11 o'clock, um, we will see you then. For now, bye.